Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at global layout options in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. Now obviously, layout is a very broadly used term, and in web design terms, it could refer to Avada layouts, or the structure of your page, or even just the design and layout of the elements on the page. In this video, however, we will be looking at the layout options in the Avada Global Options, found on the Layout tab, and how these options affect the look of your site, and how other related options can then be configured. So let's head over to the Global Options and the Layouts tab. Here, the first couple of options are critical for how your site will look. We are working with the church pre-built site today, and this is one of the few pre-built sites that uses the boxed mode. Wide layouts are much more on trend these days, but with that said, I think this pre-built is a beautiful example of how the box mode can work really well from a design perspective. What the box mode means, of course, is that the content of the site is boxed, the size of which is limited by the site width option. The size outside the box depends on the resolution of the screen the site is viewed on. So as this site is set to 1280 pixels, on a large screen we will see lots of space around the box, whereas on any screen under that 1280 pixel resolution, it will just show the site content with no box. If we just go to the front end and inspect this page, we can see that on an iPad, we see no box, as the iPad's width is only 1024 pixels. But as we increase resolution, let's choose an iPad Pro, which has a pixel width of 1366, and go landscape, we can start to see the box. And if we go up to a full HD screen, we can see it clearly. So back in the global options, it should be clear that site width affects both boxed and wide layouts. This can be set as a pixel value or as a percentage. Percentage-based design is generally more complex though, so most people still use a fixed pixel amount for the site width, based upon their design choices and their understanding of their audience's likely screen resolutions. The next three options will only be visible if you have a box layout selected. The first is an option for a boxed mode top, bottom, offset. This is set to zero pixels here, and so the box goes to the very top and bottom of the page. If we added 50 pixels here, the box would start 50 pixels down the page. Under this is a related option that controls whether that offset gap would remain when scrolling or would disappear. Frame scrolling would keep the offset in place. Finally, there is a boxed mode shadow type, which if enabled, creates a shadow around the edge of the box. Page content padding comes next, and this controls the padding above and below the initial and last page content. The default page template comes after this, and by default it's set to 100% width, as this is generally the best option. Then there's the 100% width padding options, which controls the left and right padding for page content when using 100% site width, 100% width page template, or 100% width post option. As noted here, this does not affect Avada builder containers. The sidebar layout section comes after this, but sidebars are now a legacy option. We have a separate video on this, so if you still want to use legacy sidebars, please see the how to use sidebars with Avada video linked below. Alternatively, look at the how to use sticky columns in Avada video, which is the more up-to-date method. Okay, so let's now look at some related global options for the box mode. These are found under the background tab. The first of these is page background. Here we can see there is a global image set as the background image for the page, and we can also see that 100% background image is turned on, so the image is always full width. Background repeat is set to no repeat here, but there are options here for repeating an image vertically, horizontally, or both if needed. This would normally be used for a small tiled image. A background color has been set for the page, and as the note mentions, if the transparency of the color is set below 100%, it acts as an overlay for the image. But as this is a solid color set here, we don't see it as the image is above it. And in this case, the background images have a color overlay applied to them before uploading. Finally, there is a background pattern display, where you can choose a pattern instead of an image. Again, if your background color is below 100% opacity, it will act as an overlay to the pattern. Now you may have noticed that the background image uploaded here is not the same one as on the home page. Let's look at the Avada page options to see why. If I head to the page options and go to the layout tab, we can see that it has been overridden here with another image. 
These page options allow you to set individual layouts and images on a page-by-page -page basis. You could, for example, have one page using a wide layout or a page like this using a different background image. This pre-built site has in fact several different background images all set on the individual pages. Back in the global options, there is one more tab below the page background tab and this is called the main content background. This applies to both fixed and wide layouts and controls the color or image to be placed behind the main content area. This is probably not used very often with background colors and images being added to individual containers much more common. But if you want a global background color or image for your main content area, this is the place. For this site, color one is the default. Okay, let's now have a quick look at wide mode. If we go back to the layout tab, we can just change this over to wide and see what it looks like. As you can see, it translates pretty well. The site width is controlling the width of the content and the elements that are full width, like the slider here, are now going the full width of the page. The only other real difference is that there is no box. A wide layout is generally considered to be a more modern look and works particularly well with the 100% width page template, where you can choose elements to go full width or not. As an example, this quotes section has its interior content width set to site width, but any background image or color on a container displays at the full width of the page when using the 100% template. Alternatively, a bit further down, this posts container has its interior content width set to 100%. Okay, I hope this gives you a starting point when trying to understand how the basic layout options work in Avada. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments if you use the boxed layout on any of your Avada sites. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.